Welcome to part four of Why Make Your Own Rubric. Now, another thing you may want to do is add a row for scoring. And to add a row, we would simply click here in Other, right click, and you'll see this little eye for insert. Now we can insert columns next to this, columns to the left, columns to the right. In this case we want to insert a row below this one where we're going to actually put our scores, the student score. So I might label this one student score. And in this case I could add up the fours, I could add up the threes, I could add up the twos, I could add up the ones here at the bottom and it would give the scores for my students. Or that's just an idea. Another thing you might want to do is add a column. Let's say we want to add a zero column. So I would simply right, so click inside this box, right click, insert, column to the right. I would insert another column. Simply come up here, type in zero, and this is failure or whatever you would want to describe it as, etc. Okay, so again, these are some quick tips on ways to design. Now, once you have this designed to your liking, again, you can go to File, Print, and in Microsoft Office 2007, there's actually what they call a Print Preview. Now, in Microsoft Office 2010, they give you a print preview here, so you can actually see how many pages you have. As you can see, the header and the footer are matching, all unified, student name, class, and date, the criteria, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. We can see everything and how the, exactly this is going to look like when it's printed. Okay, so if you're not happy with it or you want to change it, go back to home and you can do some changing around. Now again, you can play around with all of these different designs and make new designs. For instance, if I want to make a different rubric using this as my new template, I can just simply click on File, Save As, and I would save it as Criterion Rubric Number three or whatever you want to save it as and at that point I could go in and change the design features let's say um, I wanted to go and make this table look a little stronger and bolder perhaps I come here and click on this or I want to change the color slightly maybe I want it to be more of a purple to go or maybe a red to make it stronger. Again, you can change the design look and feel this way. So maybe I go with this stronger looking blue, click outside of it, and that's what that would look like. Now again, it doesn't draw distinctions between your columns and rows, so what you would have to do if you wanted that included is select everything, right click, go to borders and shading, and make sure you include rows and borders and in this point it's going to give me an automatic probably a black yeah it looks like black which I think would be fine with this type of design so I click on it and there it is it gives me a very strong look and feel okay so that's just a way to make these a little bit different to break these up and to make your own designs and again you would fill this in as you would like to Okay, so I hope that's been helpful to you. And again, to go back in, file, print, it gives you a nice little preview what that's going to look like. And there's still plenty of room to add on more criteria. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful for you.